Hello there, welcome to another video of Nerdy Tech Tips channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to install Pi-hole on a Raspberry Pi and also how to use Pi-hole as a local DNS server, how to point a domain to a local IP. So let's get started. So first step we need to do is go to the official website. It's pihole.net. Once you're on the website, just scroll down and you will find an option install Pi-hole. You click on install Pi-hole, it will redirect you to GitHub website. And then on that website, you scroll down and find just literally one command, one step automated install. That's all you need. You need to copy that command that starts with curl and paste it in terminal. Now, mind you, I'm using VNC. So don't get confused. I've got a Pi 4. So I've got a GUI here and I'm using my Windows machine to VNC to my Pi. And that's how I'm using my Pi hole. So don't get confused. It's just a VNC view that you're seeing. So I'm directly browsing and copying command and pasting into terminal. But you can SSH to your Pi hole and do that way as well. So I found it easier that way the way I'm doing because it makes the screen recording easier as well. So once you paste that command, you will see a Pi picture in a command prompt. It means it has started without any error. Otherwise you will see error messages and it will begin installation process. You won't need to do anything else. So this is the message that is telling you that it is going to turn this into a network wide ad blocker. So you just hit OK and then click OK on this message as well. And it is telling you it needs a static IP and what interface you're going to use. We're going to use Ethernet and over here we're going to select DNS provider. So we will be using Google for now. You can choose whichever you would like to. And you can leave all of them ticked and press OK. And we're going to use IPv6 and IPv4 block ads over on this IP as well. Currently it's telling us the static IP here. Now press OK on this message as well. Make sure you go on to your router and assign a static IP to your Raspberry Pi. Now it's asking if you want to install web admin interface. Well that's what we need to make it easier. Do you wish to install web interface, light, TDP, whatever it is. You, you just click on own recommended and you click on log queries. If you're not running out of space, you've got a plenty of space on your SSD card. You can store all the data if you want to cache all the DNS queries. So that's what all you need to be worried about. Now basically it will start the installation process. I'm going to speed up the process and then we're going to go ahead and log into our web interface. So it has finished installing and has presented a screen with login details. It does not require any username. When we go into our browser, which we are doing now, it will be asking for only password. And make sure you copy and store the password somewhere safe. So now on the left hand side, we do have local DNS option here. Over here I'm going to add my local mail server and I'm going to give it a name which is mail.nerdytechtips.com because I do have HTTPS certificates assigned to my local mail server. So it'll be good if I can get rid of the warning that comes up all the time whenever I am logging into my local mail server. So as you can see as soon as I type mail.nerdytechtips.com it should be heading towards my mail server as you can see it's it's running on https so it automatically picks it up so everything is fine it's basically working if you like this video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i will be doing lots of project on raspberry pi what else you can use raspberry pi for well the next one i'm hoping to do is something better than pi hole so don't forget to subscribe because there is exciting video coming up. 
Bye for now.